Hello, hello. Today I'm here to help you out with your Instagram and how to grow your account and social media presence as an artist. I feel like there's a world of undiscovered artists out there due to just not knowing where to start or maybe you've been trying your hand at the whole Instagram art account thing for a hot minute now and you're just not seeing the results you want. Well today I have five neato handy tips to grow your account. Hi guys, my name is Kit Thomas. I am a full-time freelance illustrator and graphic novel artist. If you want to check out my Instagram or any of my works, I have that down below. And without any further ado, uh, let's get into these tips. So number one, find your niche. How do you do that? Does your art have any sort of theme? Is it the medium? Do you do watercolor portraits? Are you into digital art, comics, fan art, or gaming? If you're unsure of your niche, don't let it eat you alive. I see uh, people get stumped on the whole niche thing way too often. Don't worry too much and just start with posting what you like. You can discover yourself the more you post and your niche will eventually come to you. You don't necessarily have to come in flying knowing what audience you want to capture. You don't need to be a god at art to start posting. Nobody is except this guy. Comparison will eat you alive if you let it. It's healthy to have other artists to look up to. In fact, it's pretty much required to have some sort of inspiration and drive to become better at whatever you do. However, when you let self-doubt and insecurities take over, that will prevent you from growing. It's when you put aside the negative comparison, negative self-talk, is when you will find your voice as an artist and your audience will appreciate you and begin to take shape. So again, don't worry too much about niche. Number two, tags and times. Of course, everyone knows about tags. I'm not going to touch too much on this. I'm just personally going to dump a heck ton of high yielding art tags in the description box of this video for you to curate whatever uh, may be relevant to you. Just know that there is no reason to not post without any tags. It's literally a free way to get the exposure you're looking for. You can even save this in your clipboard or your notes app to make things like more streamlined and easy peasy. As for times, um, here is an example of a, like a time post chart. They have these online if you just Google it. Um, we can refer back to your niche for this one. What age is your work for? Is it for kids, teens, adults? It can be for everyone, but knowing to post before or after people go to work or school, when people are most active on social media, um, that can help bring more traffic and eyes to your posts. Over time, you should make a habit of reviewing your analytics. It's free information design and catered just for your account alone. For example, I know that when I post either during lunchtime or when people just get out of school and work is when I have the best yield of engagements and likes for my posts. Use it to your advantage and don't forget to check out my tags below. Also, feel free to like and subscribe if this is useful for you as I'm also growing my art account. Number three, engage the community. Engage with any and all comments you receive on posts. Engage with other artists you like on your page and on your For You page you see while you're scrolling, just chilling. Like, comment, and support others genuinely. Folks really do appreciate and remember this. It's a way to build community and friendship on the platform which transcends all. <laughs> Uplift and encourage your audience to keep coming back to support you. Like don't just leave people hanging and like don't say anything back to them. You know, like they came out, you know, they put themselves out there. They said, hey, I like your stuff. And then go ahead and say thank you. Something just small like that. Just to acknowledge them. People really like that and appreciate it. Contrary to popular belief, people like watching artists and creators in general grow. You don't need to feel inferior because nobody is above you. We're all equal and share the common interest of art in addition to whatever your niche is or, you know, like the tags you use. Number four, big fat reels. Reels are an incredible tool to take advantage of ASAP. 
like literally as soon as possible man uh instagram cares more about supporting its newborn baby boy reels like nobody's business it's honestly absurd i went from being stuck at 7k followers for years before posting my first reel now i'm suddenly almost at like 50,000 followers and make it make sense because it doesn't uh so just jump on it instagram reels tiktok and youtube shorts are all fighting for a top spot of this new viewing format so let the app work for you and use the service they're pushing out like bad already you know it's like it, it, it's free they're working for you they want to push out this content so if you drop this sort of content you're basically getting free help from the app itself and that's essentially what like the algorithm is oh but i don't do videos i just have like still art images hush look at a few of these examples of different trends you can participate in that don't involve any sort of animation or recording your process speaking of Trends are also a crazy useful tool to grow and to help people find you initially. I think people look at trends as sort of selling out or being unoriginal, but I think that's cringe. I prefer to see it as a fun little thing that my peers are doing that I should maybe try out, you know? Like, why not? It's a fun thing that people are doing. People like it. It's, uh, it, it, it's, it's cringe to call people like sellouts or unoriginal for participating in trends in my opinion as long as it's not hateful as long as it's not hurting anybody you know i feel like you should have fun on the platform and you know create whatever content you like that you know might help you grow because why because because literally why not <laughs> I know people who are like, oh, I don't want to put myself out there too much. I just want the audience to find me. And it's like, how, do, how are they going to find you, though, bro? Like, you have tools like tags and like reels and other formats to help people find you. I don't think you should just leave it up to fate like that. <laughs> it, it's going to take you forever to grow that way. I don't think there's any shame in just like taking advantage of, you know, this being the Internet and helping people you know just helping nudge people your way a bit i think that's perfectly fine and also authentic the yield don't lie look at those results never in my life did i expect these results when hopping on these trends and now i have a whole bunch of new buddies to share my work with because of it okay last tip number five joy and consistency I throw joy together with being consistent because I think it's often forgotten. Uh, this very last step, everyone says it, but it's actually pretty easy to find yourself in a bad place mentally or physically because of it. If you overwork yourself, where is the fun? Where is the joy? The thing that makes you want to do art. The thing that draws people to you. Get it? I said draws. Consistency is important, yes, but you are free to define whatever consistent means to you. Some YouTubers like Michael Reeves only posts once a year and has a consistent yield of engagement. So if you are only able to post once a week, once every three days, don't beat yourself up over it. Yes, the algorithm would love a tasty meal, tasty little snack as often as possible, but I can't in good faith tell you to post every day because not everyone can do that, not even I do that. Be happy doing what you do and you'll attract a like-minded audience and following that you're thankful for having every day to share your passion with. Alrighty guys, that was uh, my advice, my tips, my one through five of uh, how to grow your art account on Instagram. If you found this video interesting, please feel free to leave a comment, a like, any sort of engagement that you want. You can share it around to your buddies, you know, help each other out. You can help me out because I'm also growing my art account myself, my art YouTube. Uh, I really am so thankful for the engagement and just y'all showing up on my 
last post my last video i wasn't expecting that like at all um i haven't really been active on youtube for a hot minute i've mostly been into streaming i've actually even been considering switching streaming from twitch.tv to youtube.com that way everything is in one neat little chunky place also i've personally just been upset with twitch.tv um the management uh, if you know you know uh i think youtube is just a better place and i'd love for y'all to either see like gaming or just art progress like if i'm drawing and sharing my screen if y'all ever want to drop in say hello i would love to switch over to youtube i i'm not entirely sure if i will but i would love to do that um if you stuck around for this long again thank you so much and i'll actually see you in uh the next one next week i'm gonna try being consistent all right bye guys bye 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 bye